In this segment, we will discuss differences between Revit and AutoCAD and their use in the design of architectural projects. Joining me today is Boomer Luddite, CAD manager for... Uh, uh, huh? Don't mention the name. Okay, Boomer. Well, he is a CAD manager for an architectural design firm with many years of experience with AutoCAD. Welcome to the show, Boomer. Thank you for having me. Tell us a little bit about yourself. Your name is Boomer? It's a nickname. My real name is Julius. Just like the quarterback, Julius Boomer Esiason, who played for the University of Maryland. And my friends started calling me Boomer because me and him, we had the same name. Okay, well, that was a while ago when he played for Maryland, like uh, the early 1980s. Okay, anyway, how long have you been using AutoCAD? Well, let's see. I worked with other CAD software before AutoCAD. I started with Sketchpad. Then I worked with Unisurf. Uh, let's see, uh, then there was Unigraphics, uh, then I worked with Pro Engineer, then Computer Vision, then I worked with VersaCAD, then I worked with Inigraph, uh, then there was CAD Key, then there was... Okay, Boomer, I get it. You are very experienced, but how long have you been using AutoCAD? Well, let's see, uh, I started with AutoCAD 1.0 in December of 1982. Really? Version 1.0? Yes. Then there was version 1.2 in April of 1983. Then we upgraded to version 1.3 in August of 83. Then there was version 1.4. Okay, Boomer. Upgraded. So you've been using it for over 35 years. Okay, great. So this will hopefully be an ongoing discussion about the advantages and disadvantages of two workflows, Revit and AutoCAD. First, let me begin the discussion with what the main difference is between AutoCAD and Revit. The main difference is that AutoCAD is a general computer-aided design and drafting software used to create precise 2D and 3D drawings. And Revit is software for BIM, or Building Information Modeling, with tools to create intelligent 3D models of buildings which can then be used to produce construction documentation. While AutoCAD is a general drawing tool with broad application, Revit is a building-specific design and documentation solution, supporting all phases and disciplines involved in a building project. Both programs are often used within the same firm and even by the same practitioner. Is that the case with your firm, Boomer? No. We just use AutoCAD. Oh, uh, have you upgraded to AutoCAD 2020? No, we use 14. AutoCAD 2014? No, release 14. Release for, you mean the version from 1997? Best release ever. Why mess with perfection? Uh, okay, I guess. Uh, you do realize that there have been 20 versions released since release 14, right? Well, I have created thousands of list routines that only work with release 14. Oh, uh, what kinds of routines? Well, let's see. I got a routine that will automatically isolate everything on a certain layer by just selecting an entity on that layer. That's very useful. Okay, Boomer. Uh, that has been in the main software for over a decade. It's a command called Layer Isolate. I like how my routine works. You just click on something and it freezes all other layers. Yes, that's how it... Uh, never mind. Let's discuss the differences between the Revit and AutoCAD workflows. Now with Revit, you are modeling a building in one file that acts as a database, and from that database you can clean many reports in the form of floor plans, elevations, sections, and schedules. And by using this one database, if you make a change anywhere, it instantly updates all the views, or reports, throughout the entire model, just like a database would. In fact, that's how Revit got its name, by a combination of two words, revise instantly, Revit, Revit. Yeah, well, I like to keep my drawing files separate. I have a drawing file for each of my floor plans. I have a drawing file for each of my sections. I have a drawing file for each of my elevations. I have okay, Boomer, I understand. For... But you see, with Revit, everything you need for a particular project is contained in one project file, which helps with the coordination and consistency. Yeah, well, I like how my workflow works. Can you describe that workflow? Well, let's see. First, I turn on my 386. 386. What's that? My computer. You mean you use a computer with the Intel 386 processor from, like, the 1980s? Yes. It's the only computer that runs release 14. Oh. Uh, okay. 
with a Mac coprocessor, of course. Of course. So uh, back to your AutoCAD workflow. Yes. So I turn on my 386, and while it warms up, I go get a cup of coffee. I don't know if we need to be that detailed. Then I talk with my coworker Bob about how we miss using a digitizer. A digitizer? How long have you worked with Bob? Well, let's see. We started around the same time, me and him. He started with AutoCAD version 1.2, whereas I started with AutoCAD version 1.0. So he's a little behind me. Okay, Boomer, I get it. Uh, continue. Well, let's see. Then, after that, I load up AutoCAD release 14 by typing C colon backslash CD. Then, C colon backslash AutoCAD backslash AutoCAD.exe. Wait, what? What operating system are you running? Windows 3.0. But I like starting programs the old way. Okay, Boomer. Go on. Okay. Then I go get another cup of coffee. Okay, I, I see where this is going. Uh, why don't you just tell us about the advantages you have using AutoCAD over Revit? Well, let's see. You know, I hear a lot about these new college graduates like yourself. I'm not really a new... Coming out and saying Revit is better for architectural projects with the mentality that there's a button for that. But I think that no matter what tool you use, you still have to put together a cohesive drawing set. I completely agree. Do you have many new college graduates at your firm? Sure, there's Bob. Bob? The same Bob that started on AutoCAD version 1.2? That Bob? When did he graduate from college? 1980. But, okay, never mind. So, I have also heard of the, there's a button for that. But, of course, with any software, it's a little bit more complex than that. How do you go about creating a floor plan in AutoCAD? I have a button for that. You have a button for that. Uh, what do you mean? Well, let's see. I sent you a floppy disk of my AutoCAD customizations. Did you get it? I could show you my button if you'd like. Yes, I did get those floppy disks. We had a lot of trouble getting the files off of them. I loaded in your configuration, but the earliest version of AutoCAD I think I have on my machine is AutoCAD 2017. Do you think we'll be okay with that? Oh, you don't have release 14? No, I really think you are the only one. Well, let's see. Give it a shot. Okay, I'll start it up right now. Okay, Boomer. There are a lot of toolbars. Wow. Yes. I've got a button for everything. Yes, I can see that. So, what procedure would I use to generate a floor plan? Well, uh, let's see. Oh, you see that blue and yellow button there on the toolbar near the center of the screen? Yeah, push that. This one? Okay, here goes. Wow, that was fast. Let me zoom in here and take a look. What the? Is this a floor plan for a Blockbuster video rental store? Yes. They are one of our biggest retail clients. You mean they were? Were, are, whatever. But why would you need this tool now? Well, we have a lot of retail clients that need old Blockbusters fitted out. Oh, okay. So I understand that a client like that would have many stores with the same layout and floor plan. What does your button do specifically to address that? It inserts our Blockbuster prototype drawing. So it's just an automated insert command? That's not really an automated design process. Uh, okay, well, I'm sorry. We've run out of time for this segment. I, I want to thank you for coming in and sharing your views, and we'll look to continue this discussion in future episodes, so uh, hopefully you'll come back. Sure. Just make sure it's not on Wednesdays. That's when I binge-watch Star Trek on the Netflix. Have you heard of the Netflix? Yes, the company that put the Blockbuster out of business. Uh, yes, I've heard of it. Uh, okay, Boomer, thank you. Okay, take it easy. Uh, 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 okay. Hey, everybody. Julius. 
Boomer Luddite here. I've just been promoted to CAD guy. Hope you enjoyed that video. Uh, I've got something here they want me to read. Well, let's see. Don't forget to like and subscribe and share. If you have comments about the video, put them in the comment section below. And if you want to be notified when we upload new videos, don't forget to click on the bell, whatever that means. So check back for more videos on this channel. Thanks again.